we have our nearly completed ghoul in a box prop. There's just a little bit of touch up painting and clean up left to do. Uh, but other than that, it is ready to go. There are two modes of operation. One is triggered where the motion sensor that is hidden right here in the center of this circle. Okay, so it's hidden in plain sight, but it is hidden. That detects the motion of somebody going by, triggers the prop to run. The other is what I call the teaser mode of operation, which after a period of time without the prop being triggered, it will automatically play a portion of the music. Uh, the code needs to be adjusted a little bit for that as well. Uh, so there's still some minor cleanup things to do. But other than that, she's ready to go. So now it's been powered up. There is a 60 second delay when it initializes because the motion detector that I used requires a short warm up period while the output kind of bounces around a little bit. And 60 seconds is generally pretty good. The crank on the side will turn for about a second once that warm up period is done, then it'll be ready to be triggered. And there's the crank, so any motion now should trigger it. There's only a seven second recycle delay, so it's triggerable again fairly quickly. Now that we've seen the prop work, let's take a quick look at what actually makes the prop work. Here's a shot uh, showing you the inside of the prop looking in through the back uh, from the access panel. Uh, you can see the uh, inlet there, the motor, and a bunch of the other parts that make it up. We'll take a little bit closer look at it. This shot shows us the controller. That would be the green board on the top there. You can see the Prop 1 logo on it. The red board at the bottom is the MP3 playback board. That's what uh, provides the sound files. Uh, there's the, uh, the ribbon cable there. The black, red, and white cable goes up to the motion detector. The black and red wires you see towards the top center, uh, they drive the solar, or they go to the air solenoid. Uh, the power supply you see to the right there tied down to the bottom is what powers the motor. And off to the left of all of that is this power supply, which powers the circuitry itself, the electronics. Here's the passive infrared detection module, uh, hot glued to the back of a coupler, a PVC conduit coupler, and stuck into the uh, inside of the front panel of the prop. There's a shot of the air inlet and regulator assembly and the cylinder, that is the larger uh, metal tube you see there, uh, kind of in the middle of the picture. The small tube to the right is just a guide tube. There's a rod that runs down through that tube and that's what actually keeps the uh, clown head and body from turning as it uh, goes up and down. You can just see the uh, the filter on the uh, output of the uh, air solenoid. That sol solenoid is actually mounted behind the support for the air cylinder itself. You see the two black tubes uh, at the right hand side there going in behind the tube. They go into the uh, to the air valve. The black tube to the left is the air inlet coming off the regulator and filter assembly and then there's also uh, air outlets there, exhaust ports from that. Another shot inside, this is what actually makes the crank run. Uh, this is a windshield wiper motor. Um, I got it from Monster Guts. The uh, bracket there also came from Monster Guts. It's something they have custom made uh, to mount the windshield motors. Um, there's a couple of different mounting options. You can see some of the other mounting arrangement holes there. Uh, this is what happened to work out best for me. 
And we close the back panel. Nothing really fancy to see here. You can see I do have an air hose running in. That would be the red line near at the bottom. And to the right on the back near the bottom is the uh, junction box that the AC power comes into and the power switch to turn the whole thing on. You can also make out the crank there sticking out to the left with the uh, orange knob on the end of it. The side of it is uh, not overly remarkable. Just uh, randomly hit it with some... Uh, various colors of paint, uh, various brush strokes. If you look closely you'll see that there's some blending of colors because I did not wait for any of these uh, paint colors to dry before I started with the next one. Here's the front, some geometric shapes. Uh, there's a little bit of touch-up painting I need to do on here to, to finish this off, but for the most part I'm um, considering it close to done. Uh, in the center there you can see the PIR, uh, Passive Infrared Motion Detection Module. That's that white dot in the center of the red circle. And here's the other side with the crank. I put a circle around where the crank goes into the, uh, into the prop, but otherwise the crank is just a bent metal rod with a, uh, a knob on the end that I turned on the wood lathe. There's a slightly higher view. You can see the lid is uh, pretty much unadorned as well and the two strips you see on either side of the lid there are just uh, pieces for stability so there you have it that is the ghoul in a box prop my new prop for 2011 thanks for watching